let's do more Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I hope you've been enjoying so far. Okay. Do this for a little bit. Just get the, uh... I want to call it daily, but it's not... I, I don't know. <laughs> Just the stuff required done. I think now it's the second last move, and then everything's kind of in place. Bye bye, Phil. Yeah, that was very lucky and coincidental that that happened. Museum. Let me chop this down. Today's tree is gonna go. Still no sign of green ones yet. Okay. Got, got another another dark one. I think that's an orange one. I'll double check later. It's definitely another orange one. Nothing here. Okay. Stall's gone. <laughs> I can kind of lay this out now. So now that it's new location. That was close.
And that. Did I do the wrong thing? No, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> I was supposed to bury it in the golden. I got ahead of myself. in the meantime. Ah. At least this is all set up now. Just debating whether I should move the flowers so then I can make the other one. Get this done. How many is that? That's okay, it's four fossils. I haven't found a new one in ages, so we'll see. Wow. I must be getting close to the end if this keeps happening. That's the one thing that was weird about the art, they just didn't do the the whole thing where he tells you about them. Going here. <laughs> the stuff is no longer here. Force of habit. do I have left to do? I feel like I've been talking to her for ages. I guess there's still a few left, if it's saying one, yeah. Alright, just pick something. Zen uniform. I don't know. <laughs> That's 
probably better. Wait, what? That made a different sound. I got so sleepy when it's dark out. Oh. Riveting. <laughs> I was expecting more of a conversation, I don't know why. I may have accidentally just not put the bells and just uh, filled the hole in. wasn't paying attention for like a sec. Yeah, I think that's what I did to be honest. I think I would have seen it by now if it wasn't the case. Cool. <laughs> I messed up. everything today. I think everything's in sync again. Yeah, I messed it up. <laughs> okay, well. I guess the way it goes. I want that ball of ramen. A laptop? Stage light. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, that's uh, like once I'm through with everything, sort of thing. I got other stuff I want to do. Uh, what am I gonna do? 
so... I guess move the next house. Well, I should divide this up first. Make sure it's correctly divided before moving anything. I'll go throw stuff away and then I'll divide it. Hello, Quiet Star. How's it going? I'm gonna put this ramen in the kitchen where it belongs. Uh... Do I want to bring? I guess I should bring fencing with me. What is the other fencing type? I guess I don't have it. Came home from karaoke and I only have work soon. How soon is soon? Like... Pretty much gonna just leave and not sleep, or enough time to get a nap and then sleep. Go. Two hours and thirty minutes. That's not too bad. I guess as long as you think you'll be okay. If you lay down, your soul will leave your body. Oh. <laughs> well. I can understand that. Just hope that you're busy then. There's nothing worse than going to work when you haven't slept, and then it's just not busy at all. Kinda wish they weren't on the edge, like, oh, that's a little better. two houses are going to move to. I'm just going to ignore chores for now. What's up? You now it's boring for me being a... <sighs> ah, fine. They always do this. Or just just when I'm about to start something. Welcome to- oh right, he's calling me Rutabaga. You're not starstruck or anything, are you? I get that a lot. Hmm, you checking out my old springy ride-on? I swear if you try to sell me it. it. Sure brings back a lot of memories, of course I don't play with things like that anymore. Nope, not at all. What shall we do now? Let's play a game. Alright, good. Then I can leave. The game is high card, low card, okay. A skateboarding helmet is the prize. Okay, that's good. You're working on cosplay outfits now to keep yourself occupied? What are you doing, specifically? I mean, I, I commend the effort, like, being sleep deprived and trying to do something practical, that's... Good effort. I 
I don't think I would trust myself, especially if it involved needing to keep a steady hand or something, jeez. You have three ready for Halloween and you don't know what you want to be. Okay. Are you leaning towards one in particular, or is it still just, uh, probably gonna be a spur-of-the-moment thing? I guess I'll register the song. I feel like one of those are, uh, is higher effort than the other. You, I guess it depends what you're going for, but I feel like Corella is higher effort. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what's involved. <laughs> Just guessing. At least it gave me a song. Oh right, it's the song that's playing in this house. I get it. I don't know why I expected something different. You spent almost 20k on a Corella cosplay. What? Jeez. Yeah, I mean, look. There are people that spend tons and tons of money on shit like cars, so who am I to judge? As long as you can live normally, and are living comfortably, sure. I don't know what else I want to do here. I need more things. Well, that almost settles it, doesn't it? Unless you're saving it for, like, some special occasion. Okay, now... How am I gonna do this? I need to... Guess how... Well, see, these aren't that wide. Maybe I should just keep them like this. And then I can save this for something else. If you've watched a video and there was this guy interviewing how much fur is spent for suits and someone spent 100k. Jeez. But I mean, at that point, they're going for extreme realism. I, I don't know. Like, that's that's a rabbit hole that I, I probably don't want to go down. I get it. There's, there's, a diff there's always a difference when it comes to price. It's like expectations, reality, and quality. I get it. Like, the only thing I can, that I do that, I guess, is relatable to that is, like, I could go with one of those cheap bootleg consoles to play games on, older games in particular, or I could get the ones that play the actual cartridges and do it at, like, a really nice quality. The difference in price is, is big. Media shot. Ah. Crap. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be distracting. I have yet to get any fragments. Okay, well. 
it's something like 20, so that was three. Once I've done 20, I don't need to do it anymore. It cosplays the look she wore at the ball, so the red dress and the makeup and have the hair. Yeah. I mean, if you've spent that much on it, I would go for that. Unless you feel like it's not ready for the world. I can imagine, like, when you take cosplay that serious, like, you do have an attachment to it creatively, so you want to make sure it's the best. You know the moment I move from the spot, it's just gonna start again. Watch. I mean, these plots of land, the thing that I notice is I kind of draw them too big. They need to come back a little. Like, to here? Oh, you did it last year, but in a different outfit. Gotcha. So I get it, that's the dilemma, is you don't want like a... A repeat, I guess. Even though it would be better. I mean, we don't have many Halloween parties in Australia, or Halloween in general, but... The times that I did go, I always defaulted to the same thing, and no one really said anything. But that being said, I was low effort, not high effort. Okay, see now I can visualize it easier. I think it needs to be one more up. And I can, I don't know, plant flowers or something in the front. Or trees. It may, I think this makes sense because it's like... The lead up to the beach, it needs to have some sort of area that's public. I don't know. I just don't want these villages in particular to have gigantic land. Is that a balloon? What am I doing? Jeez. I need to get rid of those flowers as well. Armchair? Oh, this thing. Okay. You don't go anywhere fancy, you just do trick or treating with your siblings. Oh, okay. Are you gonna try and uh, get into character? See, the thing about changing your own voice and trying to mimic a character is just have fun with it. Don't stress out about it, and then eventually it gets better. You just listen to it more. I say this as someone that, like, as a teenager, just started making dumb Wario sounds. Just to try and distract people at Mario Party, and now, like... I'm not gonna say it sounds the same, but at least it's better than what it used to be. Just have to listen to the voice enough and 
I guess listen to how you sound. Trying to do the voice. <clears throat> it's not easy. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. You see, I can't picture this. Ah! Oh, it's more the tone and the accent, yeah. I can understand that. Sometimes you just can't do a certain accent. being so particular about this. Uh, see, I can't tell if, like, this is fine or not. If I compare it to this here, I think it's fine. I think it's roughly the same. Oh, but I need to offset it by one. That's going to change it. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that. You have fun using the voice. Sometimes you accidentally speak in your Corella voice around others. You're playing a game once with randoms with the mic on and you spoke it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. See, I do dumb voices sometimes and I've had a couple of times with just as a knee-jerk reaction to something. I've accidentally done a voice. Oh, oh, I can't believe that didn't strike. I forgot what it was, but like, something good happened at work, and then just my reaction to it was like, oh yes! And then a coworker was like, is that Warrior? I'm like, oh, yeah, I've been playing the new Warrior game, and then thankfully that cover worked. <laughs> uh. That's fine. Okay, now to get rid of all these flowers. Sorry, I know you're smelling them, but they got to go. They'll be added to the uh, gigantic flower garden that I've just shoved all the flowers into that corner. The fact that the characters hold spiders like that, if that were you, you'd skip the next 10 lives. <laughs> I had a tarantula jump at me once. I would most definitely not be holding it like that. I wouldn't be anywhere near it. I, I don't like spiders. And that is, a, that is a fear that you should have when you're in Australia, to be honest. The whole just don't be afraid of them thing, uh-uh. I'm relatively safe where I am, but that being said, there are areas of the country where, like, 
you come across a spider, there's a good chance it'll uh, mess you up something fierce. Look, there's that kids show Peppa Pig where they have an episode where they make friends with a spider. And then... I don't know what the moral of the story is, I guess not to be afraid of them, and that episode just doesn't air here. You've seen my hunter spiders, you'll never repeat, never see in Australia. <laughs> I mean, I've said this before, it's like... Yes, Australia has things that are scary, gigantic, and could potentially murder you. That That is true. However... You kind of have to be in the outside of the cities to do that. So if you visit Australia and stick to the the main capital cities, not the remote ones, like talking Melbourne, Sydney, those two, odds are you, you will never come across something dangerous at all. Like you have more chances of... You have an equal chance of whatever the most dangerous thing that can happen to you where you are currently happening to you at home. It's just... In all my years here, I've only come across a dangerous animal once, and that was because I was in the middle of nowhere. But other than that, not once. They exist, but I feel like every country has something dangerous. If you look hard enough. Just stay away from the far north of Australia and the central of Australia and you'll be fine. You have guns blazing in Chicago. Well, we don't have that. I'll tell you that. Oh, right. One more, one more. One more down. This has taken me over a week to set up. After tomorrow, that's it. All the houses will be- everything will be in its place. Wish you could make grass black for Halloween, yeah. Or just forever. I mean, I guess if you were dedicated enough, you could find a pattern and just put it all over the place. Or, if you mean in real life, just spray paint your grass. <laughs> that would make someone mad, just... I'm sure there'd be a pattern somewhere. It might not be as detailed as this, but it could do. You couldn't plant flowers. Yeah. There might be there might be a way you can do it so it seems like the flowers are growing like some green almost radioactive sort of thing. Like you could probably play around with that. Like if everything is is just a black floor. You could make it seem like this is some sort of radiation material that's growing flowers, I don't know. Thematically, it may work. Let's 
see, this is where like the P the PC gamer would come in and say, oh, if you're playing this on PC, you could mod it. Download that that grass that you want. I got a I had this problem last time. I was trying to come up with a good spot to walk through, but I guess it has to be high. Too broke for a PC. That's fair enough. <laughs> this is this reminds me of a conversation I had with a friend that was uh, into cars and was making fun of my car because it wasn't a good car, admittedly. But he was always like, "Why don't you get a better car?" I'm like, because I'm broke. And then he asked me, don't you have, like, a, a good computer? I'm like, yeah, but, like, that's my priority, right? It's, my computer has always been worth more than my car. <laughs> Why break tradition now? Okay, that's better. I'm not sure I'll even necessarily use this. But obviously if it runs into the rocks, that's dumb. drive will be in a car, you got scared. Oh, really? I mean... Stuff does happen. It also depends who's driving, though, like... Some people that are just maniacs when they drive. figure out what fencing I'm going to use for these houses later. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. You see in the car accident it was seven or eight. That killed a couple. Oh shit. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't inconvenience you not using a car too much. I mean, I live in the city, it's like, I use my car less and less now. You can definitely make do without one, it's just when you do need one, man. What's up, Stu? Oh, no, the rutabaga thing. Ah, fine, you can do it. Everyone's gonna call me a vegetable, that's great. It sounds like a Gordon Ramsay insult. Just... What are you, you fucking rutabaga? Fucking Rutabaga. You've also almost run over four to five times, shit. Yeah, that's that's messed up. Just coming into close proximity with someone that dumb, like drunk driving. I have not been unlucky in that regard.
I think the only thing I've seen that was gnarly, and I guess I was an adult, so it was fine. But, um, because we have trolleys here in, in Melbourne, um, I saw someone get hit head on on a bike by a trolley. It was, uh, yeah. Most definitely a case of there's no chance that dude survived. walking up the street and then turned around and then it happened. Just like, man. What a time to turn around. Do I want these to grow? Nah. I will have to move all this stuff. Let's see, I've already... ...kind of ruined it. I think that one just grew on its own. I'll move it, I won't be lazy. How long does it take you to get black roses? Because <laughs> I've been trying to get just hybrids in general, and this is a process that's lasted over two weeks. Again, just... I see people have elaborate flower layouts on their islands. And I didn't appreciate how much time it took until I started trying. Because I just... I don't know. I just never really got into the whole flower thing. It just felt like something that was going to take forever. And surprise, surprise, it does. You hate yourself for liking black flowers. Okay, excellent. That's reaffirming that I've made the right choice to try and get the flowers myself. And I'm not even skipping. Like, this is just... At worst, I'll maybe rewind a couple hours, just for time zone's sake, but other than that, I've been pretty, pretty normal about this. It's okay, I don't mind stuff that takes forever. I've done things that take way longer than this. <laughs> Red roses will eventually make black roses when you get enough. You can just water the black roses to spread on their own. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm gonna take down this whole flower thing I got going on on the west side of the island once I've got enough hybrids of each. Well, it's almost... I think I can almost take the lilies down. Because I have three black ones, and I feel like that's enough to duplicate them now. And three are four orange now. So I think I could take, potentially take this down. I might do that, actually. And then shift it down one, so then I can do this incline and be done with what I was planning to do with inclines and bridges, so... Oh yeah, there's gold roses as well, I forgot about that. This is why this game was so perfect during the pandemic. It just... So much stuff that takes forever. That just kept your mind off of what was going on outside. Yeah, the black lilies are nice. It's more of a, like, deep red, but still good.
Um, so, what I'm gonna do... I think this is where the house will go. I'll just mark it out now. Oops. The pandemic still haunts us because stores take advantage of overpricing. Yeah, I mean, they blame it on inflation as well. Like... The only good thing to come from the pandemic was just the work from home thing, which I'm grateful for. But nowadays it's just like... It's a special occasion for me to get potato chips. <laughs> just... There they are, uh... Ridiculous in price right now. Used to pay for the good ones, like, three to three dollars fifty. Three fifty was the worst, it was just, you know, they're not on special, but they're still okay. Now it's like minimum five dollars somehow, and you have to really wait for them to go on sale to get them for three fifty again. I just, I feel more like an old man. <laughs> I have to look at catalogs and be like, oh shit, potato chips are on special, yeah. I gotta go there first thing in the morning and buy it. Back in my day, I used to pay three dollars for two. No, well, that's not it. Three dollars a bag, but still. It doesn't make me seem old, really. I think the part that makes me seem old is talking about back in my day. In the before times, I used to be able to get potato chips for $3 a bag. I remember a big bag of chips or a bit over two dollars and normal bags of one fifty. Yeah. I mean that's when you convert Australian dollars to American dollars, that's like still cheaper. When I say three dollars, it's like two dollars twenty or thirty American, something like that. Depends on the day. But we're talking like the Kettle Cook, the top tier, top shelf variety. Not like your, uh, like Lay's or something like that. It's the more common. Those are usually $2. They were $2 Australian when they were on special, which is like a dollar something. I forget my conversion rates. Hate Lay's. Yeah, that's why I, I said... <laughs> Ruffle- oh man, I miss- we used to have ruffles, we don't have them anymore. Ruffles were legit. They stopped, uh, they stopped selling them here. Yeah, I like my ruffles. There are- there is a brand in Australia called Smith that does ruffles. Like, the same style, but they're not the same. They're not the same. But it's a good enough substitute. Ships some totally legal, they'll probably pop. <laughs> I've seen people try and ship potato chips, they pop in transit. Oh man, it's funny. You have you have to like line the thing so specially to make sure it doesn't pop. And at that point, like to ship a two dollar bag of potato chips, you're gonna pay like twenty dollars or something to get it to Australia because we're in the middle of nowhere compared to the rest of the world. It's 
so on. You haven't had ruffles in ages. You, you have ruffles as well as a Twitch chat. I don't know why they got rid of them in, in Australia. We have smiths that have ruffle cut, but it's not ruffles. You've made homemade ruffles? Oh damn, that sounds good. Homemade potato chips are really, really good. Don't think the major supermarkets stock them. Ah, uh, yeah, they kind of vanish. Like the only places I've seen them is American tea, American tea, American tea, American specialty stores. I just combined the word American and specialty, so it's an American tea, American specialty. I'm tired. I've had to do a lot of writing today, so like I'm creatively bankrupt. I've had to do graphics and writing all day today. I'm creatively bankrupt. You know the cartoon where there's the character in the middle of the desert and he's desperately looking for water. He sees a tap, op opens the tap, has like hands out eager to get water and then it's just like a, a puff of smoke and then like that sound effect like uh, won't probably won't pick it up on the mic, but you know. Just the puff of smoke sound effect. That's what my brain is like right now if you were to tell me to come up with an idea. You know what? You don't get the hype of Pringles. Don't understand the hype. Yeah, I don't like Pringles. They used to be okay, but in recent years they've kind of gotten... I don't know. Gnarly? Uh, I don't know how else to describe it, but, like, I found out that in Australia, they're not allowed to be called potato chips, because they're not. We have this big thing here where you're not allowed to, like, falsely claim that something is something. So, they're like potato snacks, or I forget the wording we have on our packaging, but they don't refer to them as chips, and it's because of the way they're made. It's like they... Process it. I. It's. I think they like process the starch or something and then make it a sheet and cut it out into the shape. Don't quote me on it, but basically, like, they reconstitute potato to form that shape. Which makes sense. It's like they're all perfectly uniform. So that's why they can't call them chips because they're. They're not really potato chips. It's more of this. It's its own thing. It has potato flavors, but it's not potato chip. But anyway, they've gotten gnarly, in my opinion. Like, they're smaller. And I don't know, the flavors just aren't as good as they used to be. See, that makes me sound like an old man. Ah, back in my day. Pringles were thicker. They are really bland now. Yeah, exactly. And the the amount you get in a in a tube is so much less as well, and they're way more pricey. I will gladly get like a bag of kettle cooked chips every day, than pay for Pringles. Haven't had them in a long time. They're too expensive. Yeah. And that's the crazy part, is they're that expensive, but they're not really potato chips, like... I don't know. Maybe it was just something that I liked more as a kin kid, and as an adult, I guess... Tastes changed, and I'll, I just didn't like them anymore. Okay, well... Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
uh, now I have this plot of land that I can do something with. I'll figure it out. But this is the house area now. I just need to move these houses across. Okay. Let's move it. Whose house is this? This is Daisy. Alright, Daisy's moving. Made homemade ramen from scratch three days ago. It was good, proud, but the kitchen looked like World War. Yeah. I have those foods, they're so good when you make them yourself, but like the effort involved. You have to be you have to do make the thing enough times so then you don't get to the point where you make a complete mess. Like you get a system down where you reduce the amount of cleaning up that needs to get done afterwards. The first time, it's always just a mess. It's still nothing new. Do I have that fence? I'm not sure I do. Let me check. I have the park fence, but I don't think I have that one. Ugh, man, ramen's so good. It's like one of my favorite foods. When the broth is done right. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay. You've never had ramen? Oh, you're missing out. Just... There's different kinds. It just depends, like, to have good ramen, I guess you have to have some people from the region or people that know how to make it. In Australia, we have a lot of uh, Southeast Asian influences when it comes to food, so it's pretty easy to find that stuff in Melbourne and Sydney in particular. But I love all, like, Southeast Asian style soups, they're great. Just the noodle soups they do. You have a lot of Indian food where you live. That's a common thing through the UK, no? You guys have kind of, like, adopted curry. Japanese doesn't seem so big. Ah, that's a shame. But also, like, the Korean variety of noodles are great. Like, Korean cold noodles, they are so good. Or japchae. And then there's, like, spicy vinegar noodles that are pretty common in Chinese. Restaurants. Cold spicy vinegar noodles. They're great. gonna go around to the trees and get rid of these. I forgot to move the house. <laughs> yep. When my memory is like a goldfish, that's when I know I've had a long day. In your fourth to fifth grade schools, your principal's from Japan. She made traditional, authentic ramen. Oh, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, that would have been good. My first ramen experience was like at a 
a night ramen shop that sadly is closed now. But I remember um, leaving work and waiting for um, the trolley to go home. And I just noticed, you know, it was delayed, so it was going to be like another 30 minutes, unfortunately. There was like some accident or whatever. And on the corner, there was, I guess, this little... It was like a bar, and then it had this ramen shop attached to it, and it was pretty late at night, and they were open. And it just looked like something out of anime, and I was like, you know what? I've never actually tried proper ramen. So I went in, I sat down on this dodgy stool. Like, it wasn't greatly furnished, it just... was. It looked just the dodgiest of kitchens you can imagine. And I, they had four selections of what you could get, so not a big menu. And so I got um, the spicy tonkotsu. Put the bowl in front of me. Oh man, the smell was so good. And then when I just ate it, I just felt so happy. It was just what I needed, and I just felt so relaxed on the way home. Yeah, it was like this little place where you wouldn't expect there to be a soup shop. There was another place a, a friend of mine took me to. She said, oh, this is really good soup. And she takes me there, and I'm like, where are we going? And we ended up in some car park, like one of those car parks that, uh, it's just a building and there's just a parking. There's like six stories of it. And, uh, pretty much on the basement level, there's just some random ass soup shop in this car park. Again, just like dodgy chairs and someone serving soup and it was pretty damn good. So we'd always be like, for lunch sometimes, car park soup? Yeah, car park soup. Hell yeah, car park soup. I think they're still there. Like, they, they got foot traffic. Don't underestimate, like, a little shop that looks dodgy when it comes to food. They can surprise you. One of my favorite places to get wings from, which the original building burnt down and now they're in a better building. But at the time it was just like this dod another dodgy shop, it was so small, and there was just two dudes just grilling wings all day. And every day they would have a flavor where it was like buy one get one free, so you could get Six wings for just a few dollars. It was great. And because they changed the flavor of the day every time, it was like, oh, it's different every time. They're much bigger now. Now they have multiple stores, but like... Back in my day. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's a restaurant that's big for their tacos. It's not in the safest part of Chicago, but their food assembly, man. Yeah. Stuff that's worth the trip. But I guess if it's not safe, it's like... Balance it out. The other thing that took me years to try was, um, the omu rice. Which is the, the Japanese omelette egg rice. It's where they put a massive omelette on top of rice. And then there's like, uh, it's like a sauce or something, but there's, they put something on top, but you can also get it with, um, curry. 
I always saw just that in anime. I wanted to try it. But every time I would go to a Japanese restaurant, it was like either the ramen would be something I would get, or sushi, or like their fried chicken, or their bento. Like there was always something that stopped me from getting that egg rice. And then last year, I had it for the first time. Amazing. Regretted not trying it for the longest amount of time. It's good stuff. Yeah. Making it, I think, wouldn't be too bad. It's one of those things that's so simple, but if done right, it's great. It's like, um... They're one of my favorite foods growing up that my mom made, because... Uh, from Central America, so... Effectively, it's just a... They take a tortilla, and then they stuff it with a filling. And then you just cook it. And so when you bite into it, it's just filled with whatever filling you had in it. But the best one was just cheese. So it was just like a cheesy stuffed tortilla thing. The only really hard part to it is the egg part, because you have to cut it correctly and make it correctly and carefully. Yeah. I didn't realize just how much intricacy there was to eggs until I saw Gordon Ramsay talk about eggs. I was like, there's no way he can be right about it, and he's right. Yeah. Trust what that man has to say on eggs. He knows his shit. Instant muscles again. But I mean, even, even rice to some degree, like, there is finesse as well. Particularly if you're making rice that is something you can eat with chopsticks, like... Yeah, there is finesse to it as well. You love Gordon, he's so funny. You love when he was doing a cook-off against his mom. I haven't seen that one. We've been watching, um... New Kitchen Nightmares and, uh... Just old Hell's Kitchen lately. I, I never got to see Hell's Kitchen because it was just something that was... Uh, long story short, Australia just sucks when it comes to viewing new TV shows. It's like, it's either a 50-50 chance that you'll get to view it, or it gets put on this cable service that's ridiculously expensive, and then they block it from being sold as a DVD, a Blu-ray, or on iTunes, whatever video distribution service you use. They did that with Game of Thrones, and Game of Thrones was insanely pirated here. But now that that show's old enough, like some of the older seasons, they're on YouTube, you can watch them. Still can't believe he brought back Kitchen Nightmares after all those years. I thought that show was done. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I kind of just want to buy another one just to have it. I'm buying another one. don't get as much of a chance to go to the Japanese place that I used to go to. It's just, since remote work started, it's just no longer in the area. But every now and then I'll go. I still haven't moved Daisy's home. I'm getting so distracted. It was so funny, he accidentally undercooked or overcooked something and didn't realize because he was too busy joking around with his mom. 
saying how he's better. And even though hers was perfect, she was just laughing and got him and realized he fucked up. <laughs> That's great. He doesn't admit he fucked up. Have you seen Gordon Ramsay making a grilled cheese? I'm redeeming knock miles. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, the, the dude has his... I guess his persona that the reality TV show paints that, you know, he can be an arsehole. But he's not being an arsehole for no reason. Like, usually it's in the realm of calling people out on their shit. And at the end of the day, he's like at the top of his, uh, his industry, and he genuinely, you can see he genuinely cares about what he does. Now, whether or not it's right to, like, yell at people, it's like, yeah, sometimes, definitely, it might be a bit much, but you can see when he does go over the line, he does apologize. It's more when people are saying something that's clearly wrong and they're insisting they're correct, that's when he takes issue with it. Which I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> like we're watching Hell's Kitchen and, and someone said that Someone said that they didn't use hot water because they thought cold water would boil quicker It's not right to yell at people but it makes good TV yeah, I mean, I think it's fair game when the other person is being an asshole. If someone's not being an asshole yelling at them, yeah, no. But the people Gordon yells at fall into two categories. They fall into the people that don't deserve it, and maybe it's like a tough love thing, and, you know, he also ex expresses appreciation when they do things good. And then there's the other category where they're megalomaniacs, they're just, they're assholes. They, they need to, they need to be treated that way to jump out of, to snap out of it, right? Like, otherwise they just keep believing their own shit. There was, there was one guy, oh man, just... In one of the newer episodes of Kitchen Nightmares, that dude was a megalomaniac. Like, just everything about him. But Gordon has his hands inside a box of chicken wings that are clearly slimy. So he's he has his hands through them. And you can see it, it's just like the wings are quite clearly bad. And so he's showing the camera these slimy wings, and he's lip picking them up with his hands, and then he asks the guy, Have you seen these wings? And then the guy turns around and says, Yes, they came in fresh today. Like, what are you supposed to say to that? <laughs> and you're supposed to be helping them, and he's lying, like, I don't know. Like, in that case, you can't be polite. Like, you have to call him out and call him an idiot, because otherwise they just keep saying sh stupid shit like that. The guy was was earning a hundred thousand a year. It was It was insane how much money that guy was earning for what little he was doing. Again, I think it's like when it's not warranted and out of nowhere, uh, yeah, you're being an asshole. 
but the thing is, he do like, that's the thing. Because at the end of the day, he's on a reality TV show, I feel like, he, at least early on, definitely played that up a bit more, like, as weird as it might seem, he seems a bit more mellow these days when it comes to his TV appearances. But early on, he was very quick to insult. There we go. It wants me to plant flowers, really? Uh, but I have enough of them. Uh. <laughs> What's the hot item? Stacked bottle, crates, and wooden block table. Ah. Uh... I'll s let me see. Because this is the annoying thing about wooden block. It's the fact that you have to make, you have to make a toy before you make the actual furniture. So if you want to sell a hot item that involves wooden block, you have to double your crafting efforts. And they don't sell for that well either. Like, it's not, it's not great. I spent 10 minutes crafting last time and earned not even 20,000. Oh, you can't actually, ooh. So there has to be like a spot before, but that's fine. I guess I'll just add one more. Oh, crap. Ah! <laughs> this is what happens when you swap between PlayStation and Nintendo. One day, everyone will universally decide that this button means confirm. Okay, well... Tomorrow. Oh, crap, I need to get rid of the, the dirt. I was debating about putting a house on an incline, but I don't know. I think everything being flat seems nice. I was thinking how I could make it work. But it would just seem a bit random. I can't do it now, because if any house were to have had that, probably would have been these. It's okay, I think this is fine. Alright, I need to go find the money rock. And go deliver the wisp stuff. I need to go pay Harv's Island a visit as well. Oh, there we go. I think I might dismantle the, uh... What I said I was gonna do. Move the lily thing now. Since I've got the hybrids. Oh yeah, and it's, I think, fruit day now. <laughs> I need to get rid of this. This bothers me so much, but I couldn't think of another way to move everything and not stress about just trees getting in the way. I think I'm going to pick something I don't have. Something new. 
God damn, that's some peaches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's it's not like I've added more, it's just my island's entirety supply, entire supply of peaches in one spot because I just needed to move stuff. I have some cherries, it's not just peaches. Hey, cat. <laughs> I just needed to get all this stuff out of the way so I could move everything accordingly, that's all. Always pick something you don't have. You ask for something expensive and get wallpaper that comes, your house comes with. What? That's weird. I, I got um, a really nice... What did I get? I got two nice things. <laughs> I just need the, the little pet thing. The bowl. The feeder. I mean, I need to look into getting the other fruit. Nookazon? What? What's Nookazon? Oh, right. I forgot about you. Oh, look at the room. <laughs> what do you think of my place? Make yourself comfy. Hey, well, which one of these would you say is your favorite snack, Hoppity? Uh, ice cream, I guess. Ice cream is so good. It feels great in your mouth and it makes your tummy chilly. The best flavor of ice cream is all of them. They're all the best. Don't let anybody tell you different. This is a nice- this is a nice room. It's like Amazon, but for Animal Crossing. Oh. I like- I like this house, it's nice. I'll make this the thumbnail. Turn her out. I'll wait. <laughs> He, rep he replaced Moose, so. And, uh, what's his face is moving out as well. Because coincidentally, he also asked to move out. So I've had zero effort in getting rid of the ones I don't want. Yeah, Phil is moving out already. 
tomorrow he'll be gone. I went to check the price of, uh, what do you call it? Turnips? Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I, the past two days have been a blur, but when I went to, uh, to look at the, the prices, he was there and just was like, hey, I want to move out. Okay, why am I taking this down? I shouldn't take this down. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to get rid of the blue bull. The, bull. the blue bull was like, uh, okay, well, I need villagers to get the three-star rating, and he's not bad. But lower priority. Like, he's fine. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I like his colors. But he was very early on. The mouse, skeptical mouse and gorilla were the two that needed to go. And then Phil, just because I didn't get the pick Phil. And now we have Gladys, which is just better, better version of Phil. One of them is going to be crafting. Oh, Julia. Did I, say, did I say Gladys? I am so tired. Julia, come in. Welcome. Sorry, Gladys. <laughs> You're not crafting. Nice house, too. Oh, there's... Shit, I need... Whoops, I left the old spot. No, when I said sorry, Gladys, that was on purpose. <laughs> that was 100% on purpose. The first time was definitely like, whoops. Oh, there you go, Phil's going. I mean, better than Phil. I like, I like Julia. Wait, so there's no one crafting? Alice might be. Well, with Scoot, I'm gonna try and gamble for Scoot with the cards. Golden? Okay. Yes. She's teaching- I don't think I've learnt this one ever. I mean, who knows? I might get lucky and find them. I went past the machine and got, like, the the Sanrio cards, because they were there. What does this look like? There. Oh, it looks like an urn. I mean, fancy. I also like the duck named Ketchup that looks like a tomato. <laughs> that sounds funny. Man. Just... This is the most decorated house. Okay, um, I want to keep moving the flowers and stuff. Hmm. 
Because I've got the hybrid, so now it doesn't make sense to keep this arrangement, and then I can make an incline with it. Just move that down. Now I can freely clone these, I think. Pretty certain. I'll put them in a villager's garden, the ones that I want to clone. All on. Oh, see, this can get moved too. I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> That's just gonna. Oh no, but I have to because otherwise it's not gonna have that as a potential spot where something could grow. I'm still waiting on the green ones. Okay, so let's start here. I'll keep them here. I don't know what the most optimal layout is, but... Surely that will do something. I just want to make more of the hybrids. Actually, I might go this way. Just so there's no risk that they're too close together. Okay. Do one per villager. This is kind of <laughs> not really a lot of room here. I'll go here. Well, it's fine. Oh, I have another orange one I can put down. Hopefully, <laughs> this leads to something. If it doesn't, I'll look up how to clone them properly, but for now. Mm. 
Okay. And I guess the rest of them... I mean... I will probably get rid of most of these. Seems to have an abundance of, <laughs> of these. I just gotta move the others down one. And then I can set up the other incline and that's it. It's more or less what I want to do with the island. I mean, I could do a bridge here, but I don't know. It just feels excessive. right Incidentally, that was the mole cricket. Oh, the stars. I forgot. I completely forgot about this. Star. There we go. I've only had... This is number four. I wonder if this has been going on the whole time and I just haven't heard it. Okay. That's five... Six. Seven. The moment I step away, it's gonna... I mean, almost 50,000 knock miles.
Okay, we're pretty much done. Just these last two. dismantle this. I can go make the incline. Constant distraction. Nine. I'm gonna stop once there's twenty. Ten. What have you got for sale today? Oh, right. In fact, the style exercise thing, right. I call it a fashion thing, and then you match an outfit. Sure, why not? I'm on vacation. Did you just give me a blouse? I need to make something that screams vacation. Uh. I mean. There's nothing that's, like, stereotypical vacation. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I guess, and then... Apparently that's the vacation look. There you go, that means bye. <laughs> bye bye, I'm on vacation. Sure. It's sad most of the cat villages look like shit, do they? I haven't come across many, to be honest. Other than Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kid Cat, not Kit Kat. Alright, let's see if this screams vacation or not. Oh! How, 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 how? 
How did I get away with that? I almost stepped on the damn thing. How? Holy crap, that was lucky. Stuart, please, now is not the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey again. You keep checking up on me, huh? Let's chat. Hey, you know what? I just saw someone's been putting out Halloween decorations. That's really going to help me remember what month it is. It's harder than you think. Wake up, Stu. It doesn't have a vacation feel. Really? This doesn't have a vacation feel. Apparently this doesn't have a vacation feel. I'm not on holiday when I wear this. Oh, this reminds me. I should, uh... What do I want? But see, I'm just looking at the things these these cards offer. <sighs> I've already done that one. I mean, the one that's probably going to have the most useful stuff, to be honest, is, is this. But... Like, I'm not going to invite this villager, don't worry. I just want the furniture. <laughs> oh, so this is Chai. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't do much, but now I should be able to go here. There you go. See, there's some nice stuff here. Like... I'm gonna set up a coffee shop outside. The museum. Three should be enough. Five. That's okay. Nice floorboard. There's some nice stuff in this. Anyway, I got the maximum five. I'm allowed. Chai, don't worry. I'm not going to invite Chai to my island. I got the pack of cards. It wasn't random. It gives you all six cards in the pack. This is set in stone. I'm just getting it for the cosmetic items, that's it. I just want the items, I don't want the villager. Even though, I mean... Your favorite element, elephant is on the scene. Thanks for the invite. A wooden full-length mirror made on this island. What would you think that would look like? Make one for me? Oh my gosh, well, I'm... Okay. Full-length mirror. I don't think I have that. Uh, 
Uh, well, I mean, good luck finding me because I have to move now. Ugh, that whole thing was a headache. Uh, yeah, let's get the incline. I'm moving. Yeah. Long story short, building owner sold stuff and isn't continuing leases, so gotta move. So I sorted that out already. But funnily enough, I'm moving to like another apartment, like pretty much right nearby, so it's not that far. But yeah, it sucks. It's annoying. Nothing I could do. Just had to deal with it. Um, oh no, wait, I'm doing the wrong thing. Bridge is an incline. Make an incline. Natural ramp. I just don't know enough of the villagers to know, like, which ones I want. The only one I want is Scoot, but... Tomorrow I'm, I'm going... out. So, if I go past the vending machine, I'll get... I'll use some of the other loose change I have. <laughs> just... get a pack of the ones that potentially have Scoot, and we'll see how we go. Otherwise, hey, I'll just try my luck with the Nook Miles. Marina is cute. Marina is a goddess, everything she gives you cute. Haven't seen Marina. As much as possible. Alright, after tomorrow. After tomorrow. After tomorrow, that's it. I have everything I wanted set up. Well, from uh, where the buildings are and all that sort of stuff. Oh, see, I keep going down here, but the shop's here now. I gotta put that into muscle memory. <laughs> it's Animal Crossing time. Ah, uh, I hate to disappoint, but I'm pretty much done. Like, I've been playing for a couple hours and I wanna play Mario. But hello, Mrs. Sam. I already got my the stuff I wanted to do done today. None of- the coffee thing, maybe, eh. Uh, I wonder if I scan- does it work if I scan them and- well, let's see. It just says scan them, but it doesn't specifically say if I need to scan them to invite to the camp. Let's see if it works, if I get the items, if I scan them for coffee. Um grabbed whichever one was on top. Let's see what happens. Say. The 
customer will be here shortly. She's an octopus, so she's more, uh... I ran into... A, a, I forgot which octopus. It was like a robot octopus multiple times. Thanks for inviting me. This place is so cool. All you gotta do is smell the coffee... Smell those coffee smells, you know? At first I was jealous of this cafe. Then I remembered that I own a calculator, which... Is just as good. It's so quiet here. If I had any secrets, I'd be worried about spilling... The beans, and my secrets too. Think the robot octopus is the rarest? You're kidding, I ran into that thing twice. Well, yeah, these are the things that grant you items when you scan the card in. It's like low-key a DLC. Let me go check if I get the items. I gotta go to Hobbs Island and just check the art as well. Again! What the fuck? <laughs> How many times have I run into a spider and almost like. just at the last millisecond? I can't believe that. Imagine washing dishes as a bird. What? Getting feathers, what seems annoying? I guess it depends how quick they dry. Oh, Alright, I'm doing the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, I got him. Look at that. That's like very derp. I can't buy it, but <laughs> TV. Oh, I can. I mean, I can get. Okay, it's like I can get the wig. It's not really the hat. It's the whole hairpiece. Uh, excuse me, is that... Uh, what? Is that a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this rug? <laughs> okay. I was not expecting that. There's, an, there's another way to do it, then. If I go to Half Studio and scan an amiibo in, then I can... I can do that. Are you kidding? How many spiders have I run into today? They're all... They seem to be corralled around here. This is spider number four for today.
It's honestly been a minute. That one I saw up front, but the others... If I would have kept moving for even half a second more, they would have just attacked me. Palms Island. Do I have Captain yet? Yeah, I have Captain. Just haven't done most, most, most of his, uh, things yet. Wish there were actual Dodo villagers. Dodos would be cool to have as villagers. You ran into a scorpion and ran the other way and it chased you. You cried a little. Yeah, but you don't like being chased even in virtual reality. <laughs> Uh, that's fake. Wait a minute, I, I have this picture, it's real. Yeah, this is, this is authentic. I already have it in the museum, though. So what, there's two of them? How does that work? Um, do I want my fortune told? You don't get anything for getting fortune. Oh, yeah, this as well. Broken stone, crosswalk, green stripes rug, coin quilt rug. This is a good one. These are good as dividers in houses, like if you want to set some wood up. Am I not getting the free hairstyle from the poodle? Free hairstyles? Excuse me, is that a, a grocery aisle? Is that a grocery store aisle in the background? These are good to get. I can't, I mean, they're definitely, like, I can see corn chips in the bottom right. I'm not sure what the others are. Oh, right, yeah, that's right, the bad luck thing. I mean, that, that should be enough to at least use in one room. Oh, eh, I might get more, let me do this first. Alright. Tell me about my luck. It gets so serious. Now, some of the stuff she says has an effect, like if she talks about tools, your tools last longer. So there's other effects she has. Sisters, uh, yeah, sewing machine. Work proceeds smoothly. They sew a mountain of clothes. This will reduce your belongings will improve. I'm not sure what that one does. I think it's more likely to get presents or something like that. But they do have an effect. Not that it matters, because I'm, I'm pretty much done, but, like... Handy. Oh, there's a stormy night wall? Yeah, that's cool. I wonder if it's animated. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've got a few more of these. This, these are just good to be able to give, like, a room two types of flooring. It's very easy to just chalk up fortune telling as a scam, though. <laughs> Especially if the effects aren't, like, very literal and visible. Oh my god, I just want to buy, like, eight of them. <laughs> just watch, the moment Animal Crossing gets the ability to do things in bulk, they're gonna make it sound like the greatest invention known to man. They're gonna advertise it in the videos and everything. They're gonna dedicate like two minutes describing the feature. Oh my god. I gotta fix the bot, sorry. I saw someone followed me earlier. I didn't say anything because... My bot's broken, and I'm too used to it appearing in chat, but thanks for the follow, Candace. Assuming it's all around. Streamer does not pay attention to notifications. What bad stream. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the bot. It just broke. Twenty-three minutes. Okay. <laughs> I think that should be enough. Yeah, I, it might look like overkill, but if you li lay these in a room, it'll... You'll see. I'll do something with them. Um. Oh yeah, I haven't got all the produce. Let's see what you have. Get the shop. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, there you go. Potatoes. Cool. I don't have them yet. I'll get ten. I guess- oh, you know what? Yeah, you're here. This'll save me the walk. Plus we get to talk to Tortima. Free haircut. <laughs> Fine. But I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna change it. Look, it'll probably stay this way. Welcome, I think I can interest you in a makeover. I used to be a hairdresser once upon a time, been a while, but my clippers are still sharp, and then so is my style. I'm sitting on some bold hairstyles, and, and I'm just itching to try them out. What do you say, Shog? But, yeah, it's free, but I don't need it. We'll need to uncover that beautiful head of yours, won't we? Like, someone else will appreciate it more, and I'm just taking it for the sake of taking it. See? Like, wh what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Not a fan of this? Sorry. Yes. Like, I don't think there's any sort of hairstyle that I would use. Maybe on Halloween. Maybe on Halloween, but like, right now. 
Like, what, ugh, what other hairstyle am I going to pick, really? Right, so if the, uh, the coffee worked, then this should work too. I've never actually done this. How does this work? But they all clap for me. Yeah, but like, I look, I don't look good. <laughs> It's like, yes, clap for the guinea pig. Um, how does this work? Aren't you supposed to talk to Harv, but Harv is in the middle, hang on. It'll probably still work. And there you are. <laughs> Wait, but how do you- hang on. Um, about Photopia. Uh, there are models. I think I'm believing you model. You can invite models, there you go. Up to ten mo- Okay. Interesting. Um, but hang on, how do you do it? But how do you do the invite? I must have missed that. You can s use those, yeah, but how? Oh, down and pressing... Tapping the amiibo on the NFC tap point. Okay, so when I'm in there. Got it. Wouldn't it be nice, like, in reality, if someone does mess up your hair, you can just undo it? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> they just pop in there, huh? Oh, okay. Sure, let's get the whole gang here. The pay-to-win gang. <laughs> there we go. Let me arrange, I mean, I may as well, if I want to give them, ah, here we go. No, I get it, I get it. can dress them up as well. That's just, that's fine. And then there's, yeah, yeah. This is like before Happy Home was a thing. Right? So we can... It's just to take photos, that's pretty much all this is for. Oh, that's cool.
<laughs> I can make it like a murder mystery thing. Okay. Uh... Keep it simple. I mean, they're kind of lifeless here. Okay. That's how you do it. Now we can give them personality. is like the longest setup ever. This is just so I don't... It's how do I make them do the thing. Do your things. They're not doing it anymore. They stopped! <laughs> Whatever. Photo mode, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, that's a fair point. Ah. <laughs> Let me get... I'll figure out something with this. Alright, good enough. <laughs> I had my fun. I just- I want the digital goods, the, the pixels. Give me the pixels. All the pixels. Give me the dopamine pixels, now. All of the dopamine pixels! Why is my phone ringing? Hello. Oh, hey, it's Harvey. I'm calling the phone part of your phone. I've got to tell you something when you go, when you were at Photobia, go figure, right? What I want to tell you was any models you invited to the studio after you introduced us, I thought it'd be nice to take a nice portrait and turn it into a post. I hope you like it. Oh. Right, that's what you were saying. Getting before Spider at the... No? Okay. Wait, so that means I can get, like... Okay. There's some posters I can get. Let's see if this works. Can now order posters of models you've... No. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> hey, look at that. 
I mean, I can't order any of this today, but... I mean, some of it I'll probably use. So, I should just put... Well, if I could put this outside, I'd just put this at the entry to the town. Guarded, but like, on each foot would be the, the gnomes that I've set up as guards. That's a nice bird. Yeah, the stuff's not expensive either. A wand. Some of the stuff is very, very Hello Kitty. But there are some stuff that's general enough that I can do something with it. What is that, what is that supposed to be? I got the, the overalls already. I mean, I haven't got any other Mario stuff. Just aside from the pipe because it has utility, it just feels too way out of place. <laughs> okay. Well, there I got. I got all of it. How did I get those items? I bought a pack of cards whose purpose is to give you those items, but also you can get the villagers associated with those items. Paid a visit to the card vending machine. Oh yeah, I need to collect. Because I'm trying to get more mermaid fencing done. Hang on. This could be big. There are Sanrio cards if you're interested. EB sells them, so... Should be able to find them there. I think Amazon has them as well, but... I think they're more expensive just because Australian stock is out. Yeah, that's just a sea bass. They work in the same way, it's just, except instead of it being blind luck, it's just a pack of six cards that, yeah, they're set in stone. So there's no RNG involved. You can't hate me for using the card. Now you can hate me if I, in the two packs that I opened, for some reason got all your favorite villagers, then you can hate me. That's where, um... One of the new villages that I got came from. I wonder if he's still up. Yeah. I invited him from one of the cards that I got. My place must be real chill for you to come around so much. That chow tea looks good. Hmm. Anything I wear looks like a napkin after a few hours. What do you mean looks like a nap? 
is he implying that it gets just full of food stains? I like this house. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is just the big harvest. Because everything is now in line with one another. This made more sense when I had turnips on the ground. Whoops. Oh yeah, and the potatoes, I need to plant them somewhere. I'll pick a temporary spot. You know what, just, well, I'll plant them here. Happy that after tomorrow, that's it. There's no more moving around of anything. We just have one more house to move, and then everything is in its place. Then I just have to wait for the uh, the design browser thing. I'm still. I don't know how many days are left, but I feel like I got most of these. I would say, given I have traditional one and checkered one, there's at least two more days of that. It's getting there. And then once I have that design browser thing, then I'll go full intricate and just redistribute the trees that I have. You'll see. The first step is redistributing all the trees around the island. Then rezoning the west side, so then I'll draw like little rectangles and then in each rectangle, I'll do something. I don't have an overarching theme, because I feel like I'd drive myself crazy if I had something to aim for. This way, I'll just wing it with what I have, and I feel like that's better for me. Don't you buy the upgrade? Yeah, but you have to... Don't you have to talk to the sisters before you can buy the upgrade? It appears... after you've talked to them and become friends with them. Maybe I need to look up the requirements just to double check. But you get it from Nook Miles once that requirement is met. I just haven't seen it pop up yet. Am I sure? 80% mm, sure. I, I will gladly admit if I'm wrong. Um, I'll check in a minute once I <laughs> finish. Ah, uh, just with the, uh, the fruit abomination that I have. We'll have to figure out how I'm going to get the other fruits as well. I might see if I can, I don't know if it's doable, but just fire up my old switch and see if I can send it from my old island, maybe. That's probably the easiest way, if it's possible. Just visit myself. Oh, but ugh, the thing is, I can't really do much with the west side of the island until the flower, this flower thing is done. Until I have the hybrids. Some of these might take an eternity. Shit, that reminds me. <laughs> I need to water the plants. Nook Azon. 
is this? Why have I never heard of this? Oh, tra it's a fan-made website, that's why. Wait, so people are using tickets and... I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's like an economy made with bells and tickets. But how does it work? I'll look at it later. This is not a rabbit hole I should go under. I thought that was a spider for a sec. Okay. I wish I could add just a pattern here that just says, yes, I know this looks bad. You wouldn't recommend that if it was real money. Uh, I mean... <sighs> Convenience microtransactions. Surprise mechanics. What's, what's the other term they use? Jeez. Clearly I've gone for serious business if I use that. Highway robbery, sure. That also works. Oh, there was this. Nice, I have a screenshot where I'm saying peach. I have some funny screenshots on my other Switch. I mean, I guess I can redistribute some of these. It's just... Hmm. Another idea could be... If I don't feel like decorating everything at once, I could move these into a villager's... Like, housing area. I don't know. I'll think about it more. I don't know how people do it. <laughs> it's just... I've visited islands where they have so many hybrid flowers, and it looks all nice, and they've arranged it on paths, and it looks great, but I never knew how much time that involved until I started doing it. Like, some of that must have taken an eternity. And I've done things that have taken forever. I love how I said I was basically done for today with this, but <laughs> basically done meant like another half hour at least. Uh, I'm gonna see how much food I have at home, just because I'll need a bunch to move these trees. At the very least, the coconuts will stay. <laughs> Ultimately, I'm not gonna have many peach trees, I think. Uh, where is it? Wait. I'm looking at the wrong view. 
Okay, I, uh, I have enough. That's fine. That's why I have all that fruit. I can sell the rest. They had to get me. <laughs> That's five spiders today. Damn it. I had played it so well up until this point. I've never run into that many in one day. <laughs> the moment it just became crystal clear I was in front of me, I knew I was screwed. Like, that was it. That one was getting me. That scared you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just... <sighs> I have... Certain games make me have visceral reactions to things sometimes. Not every game, but... I think stuff that, like, has a chill vibe and then the game makes me think I should do better. That's when it'll make me make noises like that. Or I'm playing a platformer. Or a Souls game. What is that? Is that a cupboard? Sorry, it doesn't matter. I might get this, actually. The theme for the house that I was thinking of going by is, like, I miss the nightclub in New Horizons, and I was thinking of turning my house into a club <laughs> and just having my bedroom kind of walled off. So it's like the back room is the bedroom where I sleep. And then just have a kitchen, an upstairs floor, and a downstairs floor. And then the main floor. And put signage around. But not sure. There's a picture in my head, I just don't know if I'll find the items necessary for all that. Like, I don't want to spend an absolute eternity working towards it. There's just too many games this, this year. That's the problem. In your house you did a bakery and in your cell you did a Halloween arcade. Oh, cool. Oh, an arcade. Yeah. I wonder if I can do an outdoor arcade somehow. I keep saying this, but whatever they do next with this series, I just hope it's a combination of New Leaf and this. They keep all the customization options from this game, but then all the activities, buildings, basically everything else, make it New Leaf. Wait, what? <laughs> you use a golden toilet if you need to take a shit. I had a golden toilet as well. I haven't found it this time around, unfortunately. Is that everything? Let me just double check, I haven't... It's not in your house. Oh, I see.
villager house, I got it. You could just place one outside and just wall it off like an outhouse. Perfect timing, I have something for you, Will. Hey, so I went ahead and got you a protein shaker bottle. There may not be a special occasion, but first I saw it, and next thing I knew, I'd gotten it for you. See you around, Toasty. Just makes me want toast. <laughs> Just some nice toast. And especially, you know, the koala's name is Melba, so it just reminds me of Melbourne. It's just some breakfast toast. Most of the koalas are named after uh, Australian cities. Oh, nice. All right, cool. I was waiting for a third one of these. Now I can make a koi model. Yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, the warrior grin. I was testing the pattern thing. Just to make sure it downloaded and did it correctly, because it looked all weird on the preview, but it came out fine. There's no limit to coffee, so I could just, if I really wanted Nook Miles, I could get pay for them. Um, is there any easy ones? Change clothes. Alright, that's an easy one. How long have I been playing this game? Duh. I don't know, like a month recently, but then I played it in 2020, and I don't know how long I played it, but it was a lot. I'd recommend that if you're into these kind of games, chill games, ones that if someone asks you what the point of them is, that's if, if you enjoy games like that, then you'll definitely enjoy this one. I feel like anyone that plays Animal Crossing has been asked that at some point. Like, what do you do? What's the point? How do you, how do you finish the game? It's open-ended. You do what you want. There are goals, for sure, but it's just... Play it as long as you want. Do what you want to do. Hey, Colorin, how's it going? Okay. Um, I'll store this, because it's a base for a lot of foods. I need to get the the thing that feeds it. Okay, um, now I forgot to water the potatoes. That was my day. Oh, busy. I am creatively mentally bankrupt. It's like, I described it as if you were to try to get me to remember something or come up with an idea or just a very formal sentence. It's like when a cartoon character goes to the desert, they're desperately looking for water, they see a tap, they go to open the tap, and then the faucet just, like, has a puff of smoke. That's how I feel right now. I have to get a lot of shit done. I can't make the, the sound effect because the mic doesn't pick it up, but rest assured I was making the sound effect. Oh wait, is it still- oh no, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's night, um, ordinance. 
I need a vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not with not with the move that I have to do. And the new computer that's coming in, like my budget has been blown into that. Excited about a new computer though. We'll see whenever it gets in, like I'm just in a wait list for the parts. Hell's Kitchen? Maybe. Maybe. I'll see how I feel. I did want to play some Mario, so I'm gonna do that. I just need to... I was trying to buy time because I need to get more... Sh it's a media shower tonight and I need more stars, but... It hasn't happened yet. We'll see if anyone else turns up and wants to watch it. I just go with the rule of like, as long as there's attendance in more than the single digit. <laughs> also, hello, Hoff. How's it going? Uh, let me see if I can do some other busy work whilst... I will still play Mario, I just want more stars. Because I have yet to get any. Oh, I, you know what, let me decide on some fencing, so... Because what I've done for a lot of the villagers, especially up the back here, I've kind of picked their fencing and style, so... This house has gotten the most attention just because I've fallen into uh, getting these items pretty easily. I don't know, my fencing is just like, whatever. Okay, so for... For Audi, I have mermaid fencing. I think it works well. I need to decide... Um... Sasha, what fencing? I'm the only English animal crossing non-treasure island stream. Non-treasure island? <laughs> Man, I guess people aren't playing this as much anymore, huh? That's, that's a shame. Going out more f is more fun when your hair is flat, fashion and glam. Do you think your current hairstyle is tray fab or lay drab? Um. Well, I mean, it's as plain as plain can be. I wouldn't say fab. Don't be rude to yourself like that. I think your hair looks super. You know, I think any hairstyle would look good on you. But me, my stylist earns their paycheck. That's nice. But they, uh, you did not see what happened earlier. Yeah, I try to put a little time into this every day. It's just because... It was requested for me to play through this again, since people did enjoy it when I played this during COVID. And I didn't do anything really creative. Like, usually when I do these kind of games, I try to make whatever I'm doing ultimately end up looking nice. But I didn't do that with my first island, so I figured, alright. Okay, for Sasha, let me see. What kind of house is it? It's like a blue house. It's yellow. What about yellow fencing, like the lattice fence? There's a different kind of lattice fence that I haven't used yet. We'll see. But I'm doing this to hopefully get more of these appearing. Eh. It was free. Yeah, but like... <laughs> let's, let's look at it this way. If... This is the analogy I can, I can bring up. I hate eggplant. Can't stand it, it makes me feel sick. If I was at a supermarket and they were like giving out samples to some like eggplant dish. Some make at home like eggplant palm. And it was free. I wouldn't take it. <laughs> Cause it would be wasted on me. It would. And that's, the haircut is wasted on me cause I just don't think I'll change my hair into anything else. Do you love eggplant palm? Well, uh, I, I just, I don't. 
It's the only food I, I can't eat. It just makes me feel sick. The three times I've had it in my life, it's made me sick. Um... You hate mustard, but you saw free samples of it at the grocery store and ate it. Why would you do that to yourself, cat? <laughs> if you hate it, why? I guess it depends what kind of mustard, but like, are you talking about the seed, the mustard, the seedy mustard? Or are we talking about like, the, the condiment mustard? Because you didn't have to pay for it. Yeah, but you wouldn't have enjoyed it. You wouldn't have enjoyed it. I need to get more, uh, customization kits. I'm running low. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard's kind of nice, though. I, I don't mind the Dijon mustard. I'm gonna miss sandwich. It'd be pretty good. You didn't enjoy it. It tasted too, too much like mustard. But that's what I don't get. It's... So, you saw them giving it out for free. You know you don't like mustard. And you know that your mind's not going to change about not liking mustard. Like, you are set in the opinion that mustard is not for you. And yet you still have- like, why? <laughs> Just because it's free? Maybe the taste will change? Oh, because it's free it'll taste better? I mean, to be fair, sometimes food that is free does taste better. Like, once, because I was feeling very, very lazy, I decided to order some KFC. Never do that. Never do that through a delivery app, ever. But I decided to do it. It was just miserable, rainy, cold. I'd had a long day. I wanted some fried chicken. I order it, and they... Got the order completely wrong, but in a sense of like... So I just ordered a three-piece meal. They gave me a bucket of chicken and some, some, I'll call them sandwiches, but for the record, they're called burgers here. Sandwiches, chicken sandwiches as well. And... You know, I reported that, hey, I got someone else's order, and then they just refunded my money, and I had a bucket of chicken. <laughs> it was great. It tasted so much better because it was free. Yeah, I, I definitely, um... Definitely had a happy evening. Just seeing if there's any... I did buy that one. I got bamboo slats, just, okay. Let me just double check, because my memory today has not been great. So I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't buy it. No, it's here, okay. May maybe. And so in that case, yeah, free, free definitely is better, but it's free in the sense that I like it, right? Alright, Kat, what's the thing that you hate, absolutely hate the most? Like, every time you've had it, it's just, like, a case of... Horrible. Just cannot say it's... Cannot just say, you know, you can eat it, but it's just... If you try to buy a fence, you're already unlocked, it'll tell you got it. And Ah, oh, okay, cool. Cilantro, okay. If they were giving out food that had a lo it was just loaded with cilantro and it was free would you still get it that's a shame about cilantro it's just a lot of central and south american food have it just seeing if there's anything there. 
Shanty wool. Eh. Okay. Oh boy. You'd rather have free soap, yeah, but that's not the question. Would if if they were the meal, like you could see the cilantro, like it, it's just that vivid in the food, and they were like, "Hey, free sample, would you have it?" Or if, like, let's say a friend got some some tacos, and then. They gave them extra tacos, and they're like, here, have have this taco, and it's just loaded with cilantro. Would you eat the taco, or would you be like, nah, it has cilantro, sorry. You pick it off because it's a topping, okay. Probably a bad example. But there's ones where you can't do that, it's just so part of it. How many do I have now? Okay, I went overboard, but that's fine. I'm gonna use them anyway. I was trying to count 50, so... I mean, I guess I got it right. Just there's a spare three. Okay. I mean... I'm trying to think, like, if it, if this would be... would look okay for Sasha's house, but I'm not sure. Maybe one of the other colors. Let's see what other houses I can potentially... I don't think any of them use purple. Like, they're all pretty standard. Okay, now here, we could probably do like a red. I could do like a rainbow thing with the clown, but <laughs> that might take a while. I'd have to split them into stacks. Um... Just try it for now. You're scared I'm gonna run into a spider again? That's not gonna happen. Like, I've already had my comeuppance. I'm being cocky that I caught four without failure. Like, it's just not gonna happen again. I know how the universe works when it comes to me. I'm not sure about this fencing. Do they have green? I can't remember if they have green. Or like a teal color. I need a workbench out here somewhere. That's- that's green? I don't know if my eyes deceive me, but that's like more of a gun metal to me. That doesn't look green. Let me look at the other lattice fencing, because the other lattice fencing was very bright.
Uh, I might, yeah, so this is the other one, but I'll also take out iron and make that other fencing I just got. Yeah, this one. One of the metal ones had good colors. Okay, I'll have a look. This one does look nice, so it might be this one. That should be enough for now. Okay, uh... Customize... Oh yes, yeah, so, you know that that suits that suits his color scheme more. I'll keep this one in mind. Um, what about this? I'll go with. I know I'm, I'm going to use this one. But then I'll uh, I'll use these ones. Whoops, that one. There hasn't been any more shooting stars, I guess I might be out of luck, huh? I mean, that lattice fencing that's brown could be used in, like, a garden or something. Yeah, this is better. Whoops. You like Audi's fence. Audi's fence goes really well. It suits. Unfortunately, it's a pain in the ass to craft because you need coral, so I'm not quite done with it. I need one more lot of it. The pearls weren't the, the problem. <laughs> it was the coral. I should have been hanging on to it more than I did. And I kept the, uh, the dividing fence, like, standard. Because there's no way- it would have looked weird if one fence continued and the other one didn't, so this is like the middle ground I came up with. It's like, you know, the council provides standard property fences, but then it's up to you to provide the rest. Something like that. This is good for Alsa's, that looks good. Huh? Oh, the warrior thing. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> That's how I know it's my house. Maybe not this one, because this one might be too much blue. Because I've already got blue fencing over here. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna put it here. Kind of got like an iron thing going with the, uh, the door as well. Hang on. I'm up to 10. I need another 10 more. Come on. 
Come on. You know the moment I go back to putting up this fence, it's gonna do it again. Yeah, see? That's 12. 13. 14. Well. I also like how neat my map is looking with the, the roads. I just wish that the materials were color coded so you could see. Just, oh, this is clearly a path. This still looks good. Okay, I think that it's safe for now. Phil's leaving, so it's not that Phil is making anything. Oh! Phil's leaving. So this is like a waste of time when it comes to fence. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave it. I was like, yeah, this works well, and then it's just, well, this house isn't gonna be here tomorrow. Is he officially leaving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As luck would have it. Um. Okay, well this one's more plain. I might go with just bushes for this one because it's like right in front of the the town hall and I think having like um, hedges here would be nice. Villager hunting, yeah. So these two houses I'm gonna use hedges and the wall, the wall and then the actual plants themselves. So then the center looks good. So those will be the natural ones. But I'll do these ones first. Yeah, villager hunting. I have almost 50,000 nook miles, so. But tomorrow I'm gonna... Because I got a thing to go to. If I go past that vending machine, I'll, I'll get a pack or two of the cards for the series that has Scoot in them and I'll try my luck. But otherwise, yeah, villager hunt. Okay. Wrong one. These can't be customized, right? I should probably check. I haven't looked at customization much for fencing. Yeah, they can't. Would have been nice. Okay. And this will make sense because the house that's going here is this one and it's kind of got like a natural feel to it. And then the other one I will actually plant stuff because they act as walls, so. I'm keeping- I'm putting holes in the fences just so I have- I don't want this to be a pain in the ass to get around the town, so these are like little cut-throughs. So just imagine everyone's all friendly with one another and they don't mind their fences having like a hole in them like that. I wish this game had gates. Alright, that looks good. And then here. Um... You know what? Now would be... Ugh. 
I'm getting distracted. Like, I, I know I want to play Mario, but there's still time for Mario. It's just when I have, like, a train of thought, I need to finish it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong here? This is not symmetrical. This is not symmetrical. This is... Ah, uh, this is... I just noticed that. It should be here. Okay. It's because the house was in the way, I couldn't see it. Then I guess I just have to grab more of that fencing. Oh, there's still, yeah, still that hole there. Okay, well, I'm going back into the house anyway, so. What am I doing? <laughs> Putting the wrong one down. Uh, where is it? This one. Good work. Okay. Uh, I'll get the fencing to fix it. I'm gonna do something else with the pipe, because right now it's not really serving much of a purpose anymore. No, I don't want to... Why does it say... Ah, oh, because it's equipped, that's why. That's kind of annoying. Hang on, I have to step outside for a sec. That seems like a little bit of an oversight. some already? Yeah, okay. Um, how many do I need? I guess I need like four. Is it four? Yeah, it should be four. Okay. If it's not, I'll fix it later. this. That's how your stuff gets out of alignment. Hmm. 
なんか。There's still time to sell. I still can't believe my clothing did not count as vacation clothing. Why do they always have to look so sad when they're thinking about something? It makes me think something bad's gonna happen every time. No, it's boring. Ah, picture that out. Fine. I did this earlier. See, Pietro is good because. I have an excuse to like use some of the items that I get from these these cards because it makes sense with his stuff. It's like all colorful. You signed a non-disclosure agreement, right? Kidding. Your mere present implies agreement to all terms and conditions. No need to sign it. Excuse me, did you just drop a Eula on me? Hong Kong. Take a load off. Relax and put up your feet. The only thing off limits at my place is the concept of limits. Just so you know, if you think anything- Oh, oh, you want to sell me stuff? No. The- That being said, this might not be bad. But then it would ruin his house, so... No! It keeps calling me Rutabaga. From Yaki's server, the fish and chips, I can make anything anytime. I, I don't think I can leave until we play the game. It's like a cloud hugging his butt. Okay, good. Oh! I mean, I guess that's the plus side, is I got decent stuff. <laughs> the, the circus music. Carnival music. I was busy. Mending fences. Wait, is this- huh. I mean, I'm, it's gotta be Rutabaga, but that being said... The developers of Crash Bandicoot confirm that Aku Aku says Rutabaga. Not Booga Booga, like most people thought. Rutabaga. So it could be that. Okay, this is what I was getting at. I know I don't want to use Nook Miles, but this will get me... Unless I get unlucky. <laughs> but, hey. It'll get me some, some bushes, and then I can put those as fencing for the last house. Booga Booga sounds better. It does. I thought that's what it was. I don't know. Like... 
a shaman saying ooga booga. Wait, because when you chew on your ship, Swabby say you're kind of strange. They think you'll sink when your hunger makes your ship come undone. What is he talking about? You don't get seasick, do you? Don't- oh, yeah, we know this one. Don't cry about dreams that don't come true today. Sometimes you needs to try another way. Oh shit, look out! <laughs> Okay, oh, perfect, look at this. The vine, I haven't gotten this before. Vines are sturdier. Uh, opposite, I got exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I'm taking all of this. Now I don't need to buy them. What I'll do is I'll mix them with out of season ones, so then it's not a thing that only looks good just part way through the year. So there'll be some that'll, that'll have it and others that won't, and then. I'm thinking super long term, but <laughs> I don't know how long term this will ultimately be. I suppose as long as people are still enjoying this, it's like, yeah, I'll keep playing it. I, I didn't get it. Do they do Thanksgiving in the game? Uh, I have no idea. That's an interesting question. I don't think I was playing the game at the time. Because Thanksgiving is a very American-centric holiday. Like, no other country does it, so... I'm not sure they would do it. Maybe uh, something that's similar, but not necessarily it. Like, they might call it something else. It's so weird hearing, hearing about Thanksgiving. Growing up as a kid. On TV shows. It was like, they'd have the Thanksgiving episodes on a lot of TV shows. And I was always like, what the hell is Thanksgiving? It never happens. Is it like a made-up holiday? And then I learnt about it in school. Lots of- <clears throat> Ugh, lots of food. Ugh, I had some chips earlier and I'd like got a bit of chili. <laughs> mid senses lots of uh, dies. <laughs> um, so from from an outsider's perspective, right? It's this holiday where people eat and talk about what they're thankful for, but they don't mention the origins of the thing really too much. So that's why it felt fake to me. It was just like, oh, people talk about how happy they are and what they like. Didn't seem like a real holiday. You want to talk about a real holiday? Listen, like, my next day off will be for a horse race. You learned about it in school. Yeah, we did too, eventually. But before that became knowledge to me. 
this was, uh, yeah. It's a little strange. Dina? A, ca a cave? You have a parade you watch. Yeah, the parade is another one of those things I saw on TV. What do you mean, cave? Oh, oh, wow. That's cool. I've never seen this before. Oh, man. I'm just thinking where I could where I could place that's that's cool. I've never seen that one before. Uh is that a, did I see spider? Yes. Is that okay? I saw it. Don't worry, I saw it. There will be no chasing here. Okay, so this was definitely worth the trip. What a what a great island. Yeah, we don't really have anything similar here. Um... I mean, the horse race thing is like, amidst this thing they call the Spring Racing Carnival, but it's like... It's just a period where there's just a bunch of horse races and stuff going on and people dress all fancy for it. Honestly, that's all that holiday is, is like, go see that horse race, or bet on the horse race, and you just drink, if you go there. Like, you're, you're dressed like you're going to a wedding or something, but it's just to go watch a horse race. It's, it's a very Victorian era thing. I don't know, I feel like it's something that eventually will not resonate with people as much as it used to, but... I don't know. I haven't gotten lucky with these rocks on these islands yet. I thought that was another spider, but it was just... Does he know it? I was right. Is this a spider <laughs> island? Ugh. Did I? Did I get a spider island? There's a turkey day event. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be something like that if they had it. What do you do for turkey there? I bet it's not eat the turkey. Consume Franklin. Let me just see something here. I don't have the pole with me. Um, how do I- how would I get over there? I guess I'd have to place this down. Yeah, there we go. But I need it to get, ooh. I need one to get back, don't I? Hang on. Oh, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got this, I got this, I got this.
That's using the old noggin. Oh, you cook recipes with Franklin, okay. It must have been a new one, because cooking wasn't always in there. That makes sense, probably why I didn't experience it. I think it was just a coincidence that I ran into two spiders. I don't think this is Spider Island. Okay. Good island. Very good island. I, well, aside from chopping wood, like, I, I got everything from it. Sunlight and moonlight can be rough on the eyes, but I'll still take them over the cloudy skies. Cloudy skies mean storms, and storms can cancel dinner. I guess you could say that storms make you thinner. Pick up anything good today? Oh yeah. I sleep so much better when my family's all here. Having them near gives me peace in me big dome. The president pardons one turkey on Thanksgiving. What? What do you mean pardons a turkey? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what? How does that work? Is, is the turkey a criminal? The turkey gets to live. Okay. Oh. I got it. I forgot what I'm up to. I think it's like 15. 16. Why, why though? The turkeys never did anything wrong. <laughs> It's a tradition. Interesting. I wonder what what sparked it originally. So, like, the president pardons a turkey as the rest of the nation sits down to eat. A turkey themselves. Is that about right? <laughs> uh, Lincoln's son, Tad, asked his father to spare the life of the animal, which the boy wanted for a pet. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's just, just a tradition then. It has context. But it's funny to an outsider, just like, wait, so... The president pardons a turkey, and then the rest of the nation sits down to eat a turkey meal. Okay. Alright, so... I don't know if I'm gonna use all these, but... Oh, these are out of season. Shit, what color? That was... Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Shit, that island was on another season. Oh, I could have got on stuff. Um, so what I want to do is just vary it enough, right? Okay, and then... Another one here. Uh, do that. For now. And I think I still have some others around town. Um, now, 
The problem is, I do want to use these more, but I don't really have a plan for them yet. So, in the interest of just not thinking too much about this, hang on. What do you mean there's no area to plant them? Is this too close to the water? What? Bullshit. You're telling me I can't use a shovel here? Ha! Huh? What? Ha? Huh? Okay, uh, that... Um... This one should be white. Then pink. White. And pink. And white. I swear if I'm one off. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be one off. Then pink. Then I'm gonna go get the other one. And white. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I'll plant other types there. So I gotta remember it's white and pink. Hold on. Before I forget... This rate, I might not play Mario. <laughs> it's just... Might not be a reality. I've let the snowball into just me spending another couple of hours. Well, another hour, but still. like I'm not being productive. Okay, I'm gonna go see what starts I have. Purchase them. Hibiscus is white, red, pink, red and pink. I might take these. Yellow. Okay. These are the ones that are going to show now. then, yeah, no matter what, it's going to have something going. Okay, so... Alright, 
apparently I got milk miles for that. <gasps> no! Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay. I'll go. I think I, I've met the coiter. It's like a few days to grow, but it'll look good. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to Leaf and see what Leaf has. For the last four, so. Did I hear a balloon? Or am I losing my mind? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> when you play something enough times and it's just start to hear shit. Okay. I wonder if Harv's Island closes. Oh, I think I forgot to look up. Man, I'm so scatterbrained today. Um, Adam, browser, Animal Crossing. Maybe I wrote the wrong thing. <laughs> ah! Damn it. But why are you here? Oh, I missed it by one minute. <laughs> Alright, well then that's all I can do for now. I missed it by a minute. Okay. Like. Custom designer pro, that's what we want. So, how do you get it? After the custom designer pro has been purchased. Okay, but I got that. So then... Hold on. I'm reading into this. Custom design.
I need a straight answer for this. Just a sec. Oh, no, but see, that's the Nook Link one. That's from the kiosk, though. So, hold up. This thing is like... Well, maybe I'm checking the wrong wiki, but it's, it's just not telling me. How to get the design portal, that's what I want to see. Maybe I can already do it. Maybe I just need to walk up to the kiosk. <laughs> Maybe I'm just an idiot and didn't do that. Well, it's too late now. I thought it was something else. Um, I don't really have anything else I can plant in this place. It's okay. I'll be planting for the sake of planting. What I can do to make it not look so horrible. Ah, uh, one sec. Even though it's a little dodgy, <laughs> it'll work. better than this, let's put it that way. Yeah, I mean... Until I get the correct thing... It'll, it'll be fine. Alright, cool. This is all set for me moving the final house tomorrow. The thing is... Someone has to be crafting today. No one's crafted today. Unless I've missed them every time. Yeah, you're not crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pietro. Just gonna have one last look around. I mean... Yeah, not crafting. What if it was Phil that was crafting and 
because he's moving out, he's not going to. Did you check out your calendar? October 31st is coming up, and that means it's gonna be Halloween. Better suck up on candy, because everyone's gonna want some. Me especially. Not the case here. Yeah, I guess... I didn't get a recipe today for some weird reason. Stew? Let's see if Stew's doing anything. There we go. Are you here because you smelled something yummy? Because I'm making something yummy. What are you making? Guess what I'm making? A peach. Damn it! Don't I have this already? Ah, <laughs> that was a waste of time. Why are you using a frying pan to make smoothies? Damn it, Phil! Okay. Oh! Ah! In the background, I saw it. Give it a sec. I mean, surely I've gotten roughly 20. I'm waiting. Waiting. No. <laughs> Doesn't want to do it. Uh, okay, there's one to catch one more bug. It's one to see if I was on top of the knockmile thing. What can I even catch at this hour? Oh, that'll do. Pray. <laughs> catch a spider. Well... It's not a tarantula, but... Oh, I thought I got it right away. Like, when it says that, it means that there's one somewhere. Usually. I don't think I watered the flowers. Oh wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. I think I left it because I, I couldn't be bothered.
Really? My spot on? Hmm, okay. Uh, let me just check on these flowers real quick. I don't think I've watered them. Still trying for those hybrids. Customize. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's fine. I just realized that's another orange one. Uh, I need to check. That's just another yellow rose. Okay. Hear it, or is it? Oh, fuck. Uh. Elephant slide? <laughs> I guess it's for a park. Um, one sec. Pretty sure this one has to move. Let me just quickly check. Uh, 
Uh, okay, yeah, that's here. I suppose this is the only downside to this, is just, just gets in the way. Okay, that's all done. Well, I tried looking for a spider, but I couldn't find one. Same bagworm. Alright, I give up. Alright, that's good enough for well, now. A little bit of an extra long session of it, but progress is progress. Jeez, four hours. Okay, well. If you have reached the end here and you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around as well. And if you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is just click one of the many buttons available to you, particularly the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It does help out the channel out a lot, so thanks to those that do do that. And uh, you can also watch me do something else if you so wish to do so. So hope you click one of the two videos that popped up as well. Yeah, till next time. Bye, YouTube.